Hello to my Pisces. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your first quarter moon phase video. That's right, first quarter moon phase. This is the second part of your first quarter moon phase. I'm sending you all great energy for this week, this upcoming week, Pisces. First quarter moon phase is we're getting closer and closer to this full moon, right? So as we get closer and closer to the full moon, it's going to be it's going to be very important that you start focusing on putting some kind of action behind, some kind of action behind more balanced, harmonious relationships. The moon is in Libra, right? So when the moon was in Virgo, you had some time to kind of sort of meticulously look at everything and say, okay, don't want to be connected to people's drama. Okay, that's first and foremost. You can move mountains by meticulously going through your life. You're not trying to perfect somebody else's life. You're not trying to nitpick and, and complain about somebody else's life. You're looking at yours from your own throne, right? In your own universe, adjusting your own crown. It's not about judging somebody else's life. You're looking at your own life. Let me look at, do I have anything connected me to somebody else's drama? I don't want to be connected to somebody else's mess, right? Okay. Then the moon moves into Libra. I only, want to be, I only want to be connected to harmonious and peaceful relationships. So I need to make room for that, right? Because I can't be mixing that stuff with this, these new relationships, right? So let's get into it. Your previous re, um, your previous card, your previous um, um, reading was about, it was three types of relationships that left somebody uncovered. And, and these energies were so arrogant that even if you were now that people are starting to see that your life is changing drastically, I'm talking about much, much better and things are happening for you. These are the types of energies that you have, you have learned how to speak their love language fluently. Everything they ask you to do, you did whatever they ask you to do. Um, you learn how to speak their love language fluently. And I'm talking about like in terms of religious texts, in terms of spiritual texts, in terms of reading books, in terms of whatever physically, in terms of like learning, whatever they wanted you to learn, like, like books or whatever. And so that was very attractive to some people. You want them, they want you to learn whatever, um, if they want you to read this book, you would have read the book. They want you to read another kind of book. Learn how to read cards. You would have learned how to read cards, whatever. But when it came time for them to learn how to speak your love language, they weren't budging. Source is saying there are people now that's going to help you and they're going to make sure to protect your energy. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get right into it. Let's get into it. So source is definitely, you know, like I said, uh, cycles are closing out in love and let's get into it. So here we have the nine of wands. Here we go. So there's that starting nine. Nine is a death rebirth number. So here we have the four of cups. Magician card. World card. World stop. <laughs> um, and we also have the seven of cups. So four and seven, we know is 11. 11 is a master number, right? So it's like, get off the fence, step into your light, Carol Ann, right? So, and it, and so that's what somebody is doing. Somebody is saying, okay, I'm getting off the fence of being indecisive about what should I do emotionally about a situation. You're keeping your vibrations high. This is not about calling somebody a snake. So we're crystal clear, right? So snake energy is rebirth, right? So you're going through a rebirth. So you're like, you don't need to call somebody a snake. You're keeping your vibrations high. You don't need to call anybody a snake. Your vibrations are too high for that. Matter of fact, you see, you actually see their crown in their universe. You see them on their throne in their universe, and you see greatness in them. Matter of fact, you're saying you're you're just focused on taking your power back by saying emotion. I have no more emotional ties to this, none whatsoever. I, if if you want to be lost and you want to just be, you want to just focus on, you don't want to operate in listening to your intuition. Hey, I got, I understand, no problem at all. But I need to, I need to be balanced out. I need my fire, my water to be balanced out, right? And so that's what I'm seeing for you all. So here we have the two of cups here. So I'm seeing, I'm seeing your wishes being fulfilled as a result of that. Sources pairing you up with people who, you know, that's helping you with this. And you're moving on in childlike faith. So yeah, take off the blindfolds. Here we have the two, um, the two of swords here. 
Take off the blindfolds because something caused somebody to shut down while you were going. Like you had to pray yourself, pray your way through a long and arduous journey of just these mind control. Like this here, we had the three of swords of the disappointment. So you had to move on from disappointment first. But your ancestors kept tapping you on the shoulder. Take the blindfolds off. Take the blindfolds off. They had to keep alerting you, Pisces, that, hey, you know, it, it's you're free and clear, you know, because somebody had to, somebody really went through some traumatic situations, you know, coming through a long and arduous journey of just kept being burned and just kept being, you know, um, you know, like putting through all these tests and stop and start and stop and start. And um, or possibly almost even feel like you were losing your mind. Here we have a break and break. you kept asking why. You kept asking the motive. Why do I keep having to go through this? Like what in the world? What? It? And so, but if you're going through a rite of passage. So as you're transitioning and going through a rite of passage, source is saying to you, you're moving by faith with some, you know, causing some kind of emotional wounding. So here's the key right here. Your Chiron, C-H-I-R-O-N. Find out what your Chiron is and you're going to find the key to your vault door. Your Chiron is the emotional wounding. What was it? Who are the first two energies that made you feel worthless? The first two energies who made you feel left out of something. Were there family members that made you feel worthless, that made you feel like you couldn't be a part of the family, that you weren't pretty enough, handsome enough, did not feel like you were part of something? Who were the first two energies that called the calls the um the uh, thing it could have been a fire sign aries leo or sagittarius because we started here with fire energy right here could have been a capricorn taurus or um or virgo because we're talking about your worth we're talking about physical being like your physical maybe you weren't physically attractive or enough or you you didn't have you didn't have enough fire in you you didn't you weren't motivated. You felt burnt out. Something caused somebody to have low self-esteem possibly, right? Could have affected your emotions or, you know, you're looking for love and disappointed and all this. Uh, something happened. But source is saying to you, now that you've come through an end of a long and arduous journey and you found out the key to your vault door, source is saying, now it makes sense. Now, now something is starting to make sense to you of just how people are wired. How people are wired when they when they want to be accepted and they want to be approved, you know, by their families and how they're wired and how they could be stuck. It's like a glitch in their program. And so source is saying to you, you learn how to hit a big reset button. And, you know, like you hit on your computer, somebody did a hard reset. Somebody did a hard reset. That's how you found the key to your vault door. You did a hard reset. That's how you had a breakthrough. That's what ace is. Ace would be the beginning. Like, okay, what is the motive? Okay, now I had a, a fresh start. Now my mind is reset. The motive. What was the mo what was the reason? Like, what was the reason why my mind was like that? What was what happened? Why did I think like that? Right? So somebody did a somebody looked like somebody took their whole, somebody took their power back. But part of the reasoning was like that was because of somebody religious upbringing too. That was part of the wiring because pentacles energy is between zero and seven, between the ages of zero years old and seven years old. And fire connects us with spirituality and where you take action. So it could have been the first when somebody's introduced to some kind of spirituality or religion. So that could have been part of somebody's religious upbringing. So think about like what kind of church you went to, what kind of mosque you went to, what kind of temple you went to. But somebody made somebody felt like they were left out of something or didn't feel like they belonged to something or whatever. So somebody just left. Somebody said you left all the distractions behind. You left all the foolishness behind. Especially since you all are wired to psychic um, uh, psychic abilities. Here we have the Queen of Cups here. And again, I'm not just talking to you of your sun sign is um, uh, Pisces. So. And again, you don't have anything negative to say about religion whatsoever. My point to you is what I'm seeing in your cards here is it's the judgmental part is what you're saying because of what, what it has done to you looking at your cards here. It's not about anybody else. It serves whatever purpose it needs to serve for whoever, but for you, 
Somebody has gone through a long and arduous journey of discovery of spirituality of in self, like your divine being of light. Here we have the Ten of Swords here. Yeah. And just, you know, the betrayal right here, being around Judas spirits. People who talk about you behind your back, you know. You know, the, you know, people are trying to make you seem like you're hostile, this kind of stuff. It's like if you're going to places that you feel like is when we talk about uh, air energy, we're talking about the heart chakra. People who are you thinking that you got stuff in common with people, you thinking that you can let your guard down and you think about people who love you. But it's always this arguing and it's this this hostility there, like what is going on? Like it was just so confusing for somebody. And um it's like a like a mind game. Here we have the Queen of Swords here. So something was incredibly um, incredibly um, confusing for somebody. So we have five and five is ten here. Yeah, something was incredibly just the the whole concept of love was just confusing for somebody. Because you got ten here, ten here. You got Ace of Swords here. So it's like, what is love? Like, for real, like, what is love? Right? And so, somebody just kind of, like, that's what calls some kind of emotional wounding. Like, well, love is not supposed to feel like this. And you, God is love? Like, what? why does love feel like this? That's what I'm seeing here in the cards uh, for somebody. So, um, Wow. But it was it's like whoever the whoever the um first two energies are like somebody could have just come from like I like I said somebody somebody could have been born somebody could have been born out of two um Somebody could have been born into a situation where you had two energies that just made everything all about them. Like somebody could have just made out all the hurt, like they like they only focused on their own hurt, didn't make the just like left their left their kids out of stuff. Like somebody could have come from a family, maybe it was four or five kids in the family or something like that, or maybe it was four or five kids. Or, so, or something like that. Like it was a lot of kids. Or, you know, I don't know what a lot of kids would be like today. But like somebody could have come from a big family where it just like just seemed like it was just a lot of stuff going on. Hmm. Or could have felt like it was five kids in a family. Just like, you know, like people just felt neglected or something going on here. But you, I feel like somebody moved on from the disappointment. That's what I'm saying. Like somebody finally just moved on from the disappointment here, looking at cards, and just moved on to more sacred relationships. That's what I'm saying. You moving on to more sacred relationships. But yeah, you're seeing this card come out again. Remember, you saw this card. This Hierophant card came out in the, uh, three times. It's coming out one more time in this deck. I mean, it just as if somebody is just at the end. Somebody is just like you're not even interested anymore. Here we have the um, nine. Four, we have seven, two, two, and seven. Obviously, is nine. So, like I said before, as somebody's kind of like sitting around, um, here we have the um, nine of cups twice here. So, um, you are somebody's wishes fulfilled. They are your wishes fulfilled. And that's what I was saying before. It's like you're getting away from hurt people who hurt other people. You're just getting away from that, who just looking for love, just any kind of way. You're Somebody getting away from looking for people who are wanting look to be accepted and approved by other people. You're just getting away from all of that. So somebody is definitely uh, working on their Chiron. You can defend your decision to move on from certain things without even coming across as defensive. Yeah. I see you being booked and busy and not burdened and bitter. I feel like somebody won't even be holding on to something anymore. I feel like somebody's just moving on from something. So, yeah, here we have the four of wands here. Somebody has, um, like I said, possibly a new and exuberant love coming across your path. And um, 
just building a whole new life looks at looks like somebody's building a whole new life here. Let me see, yeah. You're definitely a wish fulfilled for somebody and they're wish fulfilled for you, but mm-hmm. Yeah. Let me see what else is going on in your cards here, Pisces. Let's see what else. Let me get let me get some more cards here because this is interesting. I mean, like I said, when I look at your first set of cards here, like your life is about to change drastically. It's a lot of people now. It's a fourth energy in, intertwined in all of this. And I feel like you've been through the fire with so many energies, you know, possibly four energies that like now, it, now looking at your cards, you just, you just like, you, you just moving on completely. So here we have Knight of Pentacles here. Yeah. Somebody has worked really, really hard to just kind of sort of now, you know, you're teaching people how to keep people out of your business. Here we have the King of Wands here. It's a lot of people who are watching you, who are inspired by you. Um, there's definitely some energies who want to pull you. Like you, you made it, somebody has really made a decision to just keep people out of their business. It's like really just to protect the sanctity of your, um, you know, relationships. Here we have the full card here. Yeah, I feel like somebody has gone through a really long and arduous journey. Somebody has gone through a really long and arduous journey where people have judged you. I feel like at this point, somebody just feels like they are just above all of that. Like you don't even care what people think anymore at this point. And I feel like you're here. Yeah, we have the chariot card. Yeah, I feel like somebody either getting married or but source is rewarding you for moving on. That's what I'm saying. Here we have a star card. You're a star in your own right. Um, you made a decision to just, you know, um, you know, shine bright. Here we have the, um, here we have the hangman here. So hang in there with yourself, you know, to, like I said, to dream bigger. Some kind of partnership in business and or in love. Somebody going to feel very fortunate to just be able to move on, you know, from some things. But yeah, somebody was around a lot of very hurt spirits that just like, you know, just very hurt and couldn't figure out why. Here we have the strength card here. So you had to learn how to tap into your own strength and heal yourself. Here we have the justice card. Yeah. So um, I feel like these two cards right here, somebody had been through a lot of vain and vengeful types of spirits, just like vain and vengeful. That's what these two cards right here mean. Um, it seemed like things were just coming too easy for you, right? You have a guardian angel that's watching over you. Guardian angel, what's that card? Yeah, somebody, somebody's gonna feel very fortunate to have a guardian angel watching over them. And somebody was definitely assigned to watch over you. Here we have the King of Cups here. And that energy has just been really encouraging you to just pour into yourself. They just really been encouraging you to pour into yourself. So whoever this energy is, you're gonna meet at this table. You know, like this round table for you. Like I said, you you moved on from some past disappointments. You you gonna feel like you know, your head and heart are no longer at war with each other. That's what it feels like when you meet that person. It's just like okay, your head and heart are no longer at war with each other because they are encouraging you. They like they're not judging you by your past. They don't care how many people you dated, you've been with, none of that. They just like look. They're not judging you. So. Let me see if there's anything else, Pisces. Anything else? So yeah, so it's just saying, hang in there with yourself. Just hang in there. Hang in there with yourself. So it's just saying, it's a win for you. You know, you're moving on. And again, I'm talking to you wherever um, Pisces is in your birth chart. But yeah, somebody was just dealing with a whole bunch of hurt people who like to hurt other people. And it's like now, just keep people out of your business, both in your personal and your professional life. Just keep people out of your business. Here we have the three of pentacles. Everything is lining up perfectly for you. It's harvest time. So now you and somebody are building a very, uh, very, very um, rich legacy together. Somehow music has a play a part of something. Somebody, you, you feel like you're good enough. You feel like you're worthy enough. This is the hermit card right here. You learn how to take your power back. You learn, this is just where you took your power back. You learn how to, to just be more meticulous and start paying more attention to detail, you know, in things. And just as far as you're concerned, you're no longer doing an injustice to yourself. Somebody start, you know, being just like I said, you just don't want to be tied to drama. 
somebody started feeling like they were good enough. Like somebody started feeling like they were worthy and good enough. So this is a, this is a good thing. This is this is when I look at your cards. What a journey somebody's been on. Now here we have the King of Wands. Like I said, you're a hardworking person. You're a leader. You're somebody. So uh, sources connecting you with other leaders. Here we also have the Ace of Cups here. Um, I think I saw the Ace of Cups on there. Yeah, so yeah, so it's just saying just protect your water, protect your water, because your wishes are being fulfilled, just protect your water. Here we have the two of uh, wands here, I see somebody traveling, you know, meeting new people, you got tons of opportunities coming your way, you know, here's the justice card again, you're no longer doing an injustice to yourself, you're not indecisive about whatever, here we have the queen of um, pentacles here, somebody definitely wants people who down to earth, relatable, you know, about their business. You know, here we have the Eight of Pentacles. Definitely somebody who has at least, you know, multiple things going on in their lives. You know, not spending eight hours a day, you know, just doing nothing. Somebody has multiple, you know, building their own legacy. So that's going to be really important for you too. You know, um, <clears throat> somebody who is just like, you know, I feel like somebody's going to feel like a teenager again. That's what I look at. When I look at your car, somebody's going to feel like a teenager again. Just like just like I said, when you're when you're around the right kind of group of people who's on your frequency and everything feels like everything is aligned, it's going to feel just very, very different. Very, very different is what I'm seeing here in your car. It's just very, very different. So, let's see. Let's see what else we have. Let's see what else we have. Yeah, the spy is now turned on. Somebody's been spying on you. They turned on. Somebody, somebody apologizes for hurting you, but the angel of prophecy and wisdom is with you. But listen to your intuition. Somebody has a demon of pride. So, you know, wealth is within your reach. Prepare for an increase in pay, right? So take a leap of faith. Crown chakra cleanse. But somebody's not happy without you. You are who they prayed for. Dance around your home as if no one is watching. Much better, much better lies ahead. But it's time to do a hard chakra cleanse because somebody's heart has been out of alignment for so long you know you just kind of sort of like i said just keep trying to speak other people's love language pisces but then for some reason people are not like speaking yours they're not even putting the same fourth effort that you've been putting into speaking theirs but much better lies ahead it's time to get some fresh air the new one is extra special but always bet on you something is not as deep as somebody thinks it is but now the curse is broken the curse is broken so but don't cast your pearls before swine if people don't appreciate you for who you are, goodbye, right? So you have the gift of clear audience. You have very clear listening. And things can already start flowing back to you the way they were supposed to, right? But should you double back for them? You already know their answer. Root chakra cleanse. You are an answer prayer to a whole lot of people. But it's time to release the burden and toss it into a burning bowl. And like I said before, it's time to do a um a, a wounded warrior. You know, that's your Chiron, C-H-I-R-O-N. We do have a link below for Chiron in the description. It's time for you to start healing that, healing that. But again, there's no need to ever double back. Double back for what? An X is an X for a reason. And even if even if they be because everybody has evolved, but an X is an X for a reason. And um, just if you want to take something sacred, take the good memories and toss all the negative to the to the wind and just say, hey, that the time is up. You know, I'm taking a good memory with me. I wish them the best. Let me just move on. Let me just move on. Number six, I am nurturing. Ex-friend, ex-family member, ex-whomever. I'm taking a good memories with me. It's things we used to laugh and talk about, whatever. I'm moving on, right? I wish them the best. Your heart is your gift. You are a natural born nurturer and you have a gift. You have a great talent for helping and healing others. You are the epitome of self-sacrifice and a protector of those you love. I am nurturing. Yep, you're not trying to invoke any more nightmares by talking about them, keeping in contact with them, you know, talking negatively or highly of them. This is nothing to talk about. We're just not on the same frequency. Keep it moving. And yeah, you're not, you, you, it's not, you're not, you don't need to be indecisive about it. Yeah, karma. So there's nothing from a past life that can't be addressed in the current, the current one. Karma is not good or bad, right? Karma just is. And it's whatever energy we all put out into the universe coming back to all of us, right? So you never know how it's going to come back to people. And if you're sitting around waiting to see somebody's karma because you don't really know what the intention was, it's always about intention and action behind it. 
It's the intention behind whatever. So you never know what people's intentions were behind it. That's why some people are like, I can't wait to see their karma come back. And that person could be flourishing in life because their intention may not have ever been to hurt somebody. They could have been under some kind of a spell. It could have been anything was going on with them. So they may not have been their intention. But then you see some people it just all seem like always, every time you turn around, all hell is breaking loose in their life. You don't know what their heart, their intentions were. So you just never know. So that's why Source is saying don't do an injustice to yourself by invoking a nightmare. Move on from some things. Live your best life. Don't go backwards. So a new start is coming. That's right. A whole new start is coming for you. A whole new start is coming. So. You see this three of wands coming out here. So, yeah. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> um, so, yeah. Somebody is definitely born to inspire people. So. Lots of fire in your car. Somebody was definitely in some survival mode. There's a lot going on. A lot going on in these cards. But, yeah. Like I said, karma is not good or bad. It's just the energy that we send out to the universe coming back. So, it could be good karma. So, if you've been putting out a lot of good energy, inspiring a whole lot of people, that's, that's why we're not each other's gods. It's like, you know, source gives people an opportunity, gives, extends grace to people gives people an opportunity to clean stuff up. So we're not each other's gods. So um, that's why source is just giving people a chance to, I see, like I said, I see somebody's life just, like I said, just majorly turning around here. Source is saying to you, when I look at this right here, you got 10, you and somebody leaving people out of your business. You got 10 here. You got, you know, 10 here. I see somebody go from spending eight hours a day um, worrying about something to eight hours a day investing in themselves and celebrating, you know, celebrate, having a great time, you know, celebrating something, something that they're creating. Here we have orgasm. Thrust your body, elevate your spirit, open the gates to your renewal. So 29, 2 and 9 is 11. 11 so something that somebody is creating this all this water right here you're sitting around with a creative team of people and you are creating something that's going to make a whole lot of money so so congratulations to you whoever it is congratulations whatever it is you're creating good deal no more doing an injustice to yourselves you're somebody's a star in their own right expression number four so Let's see what else we have. So, yeah, there are no questions this time, but I am safe to be my true, authentic self. That's what it is. Somebody's now safe to be their true, authentic self. Live your best life on purpose. Live your best life on purpose because... Some energies were definitely, like I said, vain and vengeful and trying to, you know, expose people and trying to make people feel bad and all this other stuff or whatever, whatever. And um, that ain't work. Let me see. Um, number six. Yeah. So like I said, I see somebody getting, I see somebody uh, settling down, possibly getting married. I see you no longer doing an injustice to yourself, you know, anymore by being with vain and vengeful spirits that you may not have known about that was definitely, you know, hurt, trying to hurt other people, trying to cause some kind of emotional wounding when it comes to your money. Like, it's just craziness. That's what I, that's what I see for you. You're going to feel very fortunate that you had a guardian angel watching over you from the other side. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.